pick number nine in the draft, do you have any preference? Do you have a positional preference on what position you'd like to see them draft, or do you want them to trade back, or what, what do you want them to do at pick nine? The long shot that I really th- am hoping for is that somewhere of the the neighbors, either neighbors or Harrison falls to nine. I, I don't think that's going to happen. You My- said you said people would call you crazy for some of your takes. One of my takes is if like Marvin Harrison does fall to nine, I'm passing him up. I'm trading back. Hell no. <laughs> I have a guaranteed trade partner and a good good haul. And, and I'll tell you what, the history of top ten drafted wide receivers is not very good. Mm. So I w- I'm inclined to trade back. But I I hear you, man. A lot of people love Marvin Harrison. So, well, but I that could happen. Like Jalen like Carter wasn't supposed to drop to nine, and he did. Yeah, of so course, you, you don't know. Yeah, you don't know. yeah, and you know. We passed on him too, and look how good he was. The best part about that entire thing was I love it how the you know the reports coming out that the Bears are thinking about taking him at number one, <laughs> and then you get then you have a chance to get him at nine, and you completely pass on him again. <laughs> nine, wide receiver two. three though it's it's the slot wide receiver you're drafting, which Keenan Allen can play. That's fair. That's a fair opinion. That actually yeah. might be a better fit for him due to his age and injury and whatnot too. So injury right. history. I'm okay with what they have there now if they de- if they decide to not go wide receiver, because then you could just take uh, the kid from Texas is pretty damn good too. But you know, so th- that could be a later round pick. Kid All from Texas, Texas. you talking about Adonai Mitchell? Yes, I I honestly think he could be the end up being the Amonra St. Brown of this draft class. But I uh, not not the same type of receiver, just where he's drafted ended up being the the best, you know. Yeah, that same problem was drafted in the fourth round. Yeah, yeah, which is in, nuts that, that a guy that that good went in the fourth round. But that's not the Tyreek Tyre Hill went in the fifth. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, it's not nuts. Like these wide receivers, they're deep. Well, so uh, the Notre Dame fan of me is hoping Alt falls because to get that caliber of a left tackle at nine, I mean, I Alt is unbelievable you're talking he's definitely the best uh line in the class it's not even close but i honestly i think they trade back i think they trade back get maybe a second or extra second or a third round pick i just think uh, i would rather have if one of those guys falls i don't think you could trade back a harrison a neighbor's alt you know you get something along those lines Screw that! Just go with the four picks in the draft and go with those. Go with your 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 top your top the horses that you get in those first two picks. You still have a lot of draft capital next year. You could always trade up, like into the second round, if you need to with one of right. your round picks. Right, correct. And you know, I mean, there's a you know, I I don't think they move. I think they stay at nine, and you know, something falls and they take them. And they, I mean, you're looking at a Caleb Williams, Joe Alt draft, and you're like, oh. It's, it's two good picks in the first 10, 10 picks. <laughs>